Hello and welcome to the guard gated neighborhood of Tracia. Today, I, Elena Webster with Meshes Real Estate, will be your guide to this neighborhood and this home. This is such a beautiful, perfectly manicured landscaping neighborhood. It was built in 05, 06, 07 in that period. And the style of this area is basically spanish or italian village so when you are here it doesn't even feel like you're in america it feels very much like you're being somewhere foreign this is the home that we will be touring today it's the third one on the right the garages are facing the other way um, and then all the doors are facing this way so that it feels very neighborly Upon walking in, we are entering into the main living area, living space with a fireplace. The home is four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, 1,800 square feet, 1,816 to be more exact. Um, and it does feel really bright, open and spacious. We have a good ceiling height. So then we have a little dining room area as well as the kitchen, um, the stairs. So let's start touring right here. This way we have a little coat closet. There are a good amount of closets throughout this home for storage. And one bedroom and one full bathroom are also located down below. So here we have bedroom number one. And by the way, the home comes fully furnished, just as you see it pictured in this video. Um, it actually is very interesting because there's Vegas is very transient. So there's a lot of people moving in and out. And sometimes the hassle of hiring the movers and having to set aside a day to move um, is a lot of trouble. So the fully furnished rentals are pretty much thriving. So then we have a full bathroom. And then there is a two car garage, but they are split into two separate garages at the corner. And I will be showing another video from um, the outside. This garage has trash cans um, and can be also used for storage. Um, something to note is that because this is an older built community, early 2000s, I don't think they accounted for how tall the cars can be. So you would need to measure and see whether this is actually a good height for parking. Um, so this is a small backyard. Um, we're at about 34, 3,500 square feet of space here. But um, it's still good enough to do some planting and to sit outside when the weather is this nice. So now we will go and take a look um, at the kitchen. The kitchen comes partially stocked, so there are certain items, utensils provided with this home kind of like an airbnb except for there's no airbnbs or short-term rentals allowed um, in this area and by hoa as well so it's almost like that but not really like airbnb but long term so then we have the dishwasher the um, double sink facing the window as well as um, the stove and the microwave and a few cabinets as well to store things. Here we have the washer and dryer with some up cab cabinetry under the stairs closet as well. And this is where the second garage is, which makes it easier to bring in groceries um, once parked. So I will show you another video look of how you have to basically drive up this street and then enter through the garages this way. This one on the right is a bit easier to park at. The left one uh, needs a three-point turn. The house next to it is identical, except for flip the other way horizontally, basically. Here we have just a uh, water heater, and that concludes the tour of the garage. Let's go back inside and see the upstairs. Thank you. 
going upstairs we do have carpet coverage on the stairs and in all of the bedrooms upstairs however it is very clean as you can see on the video and very well taken care of this home is actually honestly i don't see that many rentals that are this well maintained and clean so upstairs we have three bedrooms um, this one is kind of equipped for a little exercise room with the view of the driveway and then we have a little corridor area with a linen closet right there and a Jack and Jill bathroom with double sink vanity here. This room um, currently serves as an office, but it's actually really good size uh, room. Uh, it's just as big as primary bedroom maybe just a little bit smaller um, and so this could serve as a great secondary bedroom very bright gets an incredible amount of lighting all throughout the day um, can totally put more furniture a bed a dresser in here so now let's go see primary bedroom well first a little linen closet with some spare bulbs so this is the primary bedroom. It is also pretty good size. Um, it is, I can't remember if it's king size or an oversized king. And then there's two closets. So this is a smaller closet right next to the bed. And then there's a second closet um, over there. Just a little desk, secretary desk. And this is your primary um, bathroom with also dual sink, but separated. And then the toilet and the secondary closet you can see in there. So let's go take a look. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to show it on video, how everything, but at least I hope you can get the idea of the layout. And another sweet thing that is also a great addition is this little balcony that you can just sit, read a book, enjoy morning coffee. Um, it's especially beautiful at sunset. Sometimes when it's rain, when it rains, this street especially becomes this magical place. And also, I hope you can hear, I did make sure to capture that ambient noise. It is really quiet here. The home is conveniently tucked away. Maybe if other homes in this community are located closer to the freeway, it is quite busy and you can hear the traffic and street noise, but um, it's incredibly quiet here at all hours of the day for the most part. It cannot always be guaranteed, but for the most part. Thank you so much for touring this property.